dynamicartstore.com to get the cars. Right. Icons, legends aiming at the stars. Personally, at checkout to save your points. And now your bank account won't be staying empty. empty. Dynamicartstore.com. Right. Use code Hursty. Go on. Hey there guys, welcome back to Hursty Games and welcome back to the QPR Crew Mode. If you're not all nice and caught up, then make sure you go check out the players, get yourself caught up, and then welcome back to today's episode. Now, I want to address something first. Yes, I'm wearing a Sevilla shirt. Apologies, uh, I just put this on and then thought, I need to film QPR Crew Mode. So, my bad. But uh, anyway, regardless, I want to talk to you guys very quickly. In the last episode, I mentioned about what players we could potentially pick up for a pre-contract. Looking to pick up one player. If I don't get any suggestions or any suggestions that I think are A, doable, B, realistic, or C, I think really fit what we've got, then I've got this set up as well for any first team, um, any position, first team quality. So hopefully they'll find me players around sort of my team level, hopefully, uh, with less than a year on their contract. So hopefully players we can pick up. Realistically, I should actually change that age range to 23 um, if I can edit the instruction, which I can, uh, because obviously you can't sign them before they're 23. So I'm going to set it to that, um, and then hopefully we'll find some players on our scout system. But today, what we need to do is we need to get into focusing on our next game, because our next game is actually a derby. We are up against up against Fulham boys which is gonna be a tricky one it's gonna be an interesting game we'll see how it goes uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sim the Watford game and if we have the uh, like ability the team strength to sim the entire Watford game then we'll also play the Everton game so depending on how the cup game goes we might get into the third game today otherwise we'll focus obviously on Fulham and then on Watford first so Fulham's gonna be the first game I'm gonna get the team ready a couple of emails and stuff to sort out so let's have a little look his scout department that's fine Adoma's still not going. Uh, that's, that seems to be a bit of a, a trend here. But regardless, I'll get the team ready for our first game. Okay, so going into this game against Fulham, uh, you can see I've gone with a little bit of rotation here. So I've brought in Connor Masterson. I've brought in Ilias Chair on the left to move Todd to the right. And Obafemi's going to start up top. That's mainly because what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a couple of rotation players for this game so that I've got majority of my first team squad for the next game in the cup where I'm looking to sim it. But it does mean that I can rest a couple of people. So people like Ludwig will come in. I'll start done ball. It means that we can still bring in, though, the strength of someone like Bryce R. Samuel. We can play Macaulay Bond. We can play Carter Vickers. So we still have a bit of strength with the rotation that would be in the cup. So kind of playing a bit of half and half because hopefully we can do well against Fulham. I didn't want to, like, fully weaken my side because this is still going to be an important game. This is still a derby, for example. But hopefully... Three points today. That's what we need. Away at Craven Cottage. I have to say, one of the most unique stadiums in England, at least. Uh, and a stadium that is home to Fulham. So it's going to be a tricky game, but a very important game for us to try and win today. I really do think it's very, very crucial to pick up three points today. Especially in a game like this. And this could put us in good stead and good form for the next couple of games to finish off this month as well. Two tricky sides to play still to go. But let's get into this game. Let's see how we do against Fulham. Come on, boys. They have worked this ball forward quite nicely here, but well done there from Rob Dickey, today's captain, stepping in very, very well and doing a very good job there. We get the ball up to Obifemi here, who's done really well to keep that ball away from Hector. Now, Ellis Todd is going to try and make that run out the, like down the wing there, but wasn't the best of passes. However, he's got it back to Obafemi here. Obafemi going to keep this ball. Oh, no, he's not. Lyndon Dykes loses out, sadly, there. But I have to say, not a bad little bit of counter-attack in there. Sadly, some of the passes not quite where I needed them, but uh, good defence initially. We're doing well at keeping them nice and quiet so far. They've worked the ball out wide here. Connor Marston trying to get in and get the ball off of Tete here. If we do get the ball off of him here, their right back is right up this side of the pitch. And we'll have a good chance with Chair to run. Oh, the deflection definitely went goal with there. But Ramsdale's done very well to react to that and make that catch there. That could have been a problem for us. We get a little bit lucky with that ball just getting past their man. Now, we get the ball up to Ilias Chair. Ilias Chair, I need you to make me a run, mate. Ilias gets that run out wide. Come on, get the ball back to him. Lovely stuff from Robert Femi. Ilias Chair now working the ball forward quite nicely. We see... Ellis Todd at the far post. Whoa, that's a really good save from the keeper. Ellis Todd hits it wide. That's our first chance of the game. Ellis Todd would have done really well to get that on target. But I have to say, that was a good little punch from the keeper. Uh, if I'd thought about it, maybe I could have brought it down. But I thought I needed to shoot. I thought if I take the shot, if it's on target, it's going in. Sadly, just wide though. Half time is quick approaching. This is going to be the last chance of the game here. Chaloba's going to step in very well, get that ball away. We're going to start to make a counter. But I was expecting the whistle to go there anyway. But I have to say, not a particularly exciting half. Like, either way, really. But I have to say, Fulham have been the better side. We've had one real chance, and it was off target. Uh, with a good cross in as well, but obviously a very comfortable save from the keeper. But uh, realistically, we haven't offered much here. We haven't particularly been exciting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take off Obafemi. He's not had a good game today at all. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring on Pepe Ars. Uh, and that is purely because we're going to the 4-2-3-1. We're going to hope and pray 
that the 4-2-3-1 today can be our friend and can help us just dictate play a bit better in the middle and try and get some passing off. I know, I know the passing is not as good on uh, on Pepe House. Actually, with the boost, actually, it is better than Femi right now. So maybe it does make a little bit of sense. But what we're going to do is we're going to carry on with the team we've got. If I can, like, prevent myself having to make too many other changes, then that's great. Kelman, I would still wouldn't mind bringing on too much. If we need to bring on the likes of Bright or, or maybe even Dumble to show something up, then I will. But realistically, right now, what we need to do is we need to try and get this first goal but in, in doing that we need to play better we've got to pass the ball better and we've actually got to make some more chances because in that first half we really didn't do that they've worked the ball out wide here Zambo and Guisa with a good little bit of play but Trevor Chaloba steps in fantastically plays that ball nice and calmly out to Kane and now maybe we have a bit of a chance here to bring this ball forward Pepe Ars is now going to play that ball out wide to Ellis Todd that's a much better through ball it's actually through for him to run onto which is what we needed in that first half now Ellis Todd is going to bring that to the line going to pass it back Ilias Chair finds the back of the net let's go boys lovely stuff we do find the goal in this game that we needed lovely bit of interplay now I'm not just going to say it was down to you know Pepe Ars coming on and, and Obafemi going off it was I think mainly down to the formation change you could see the bit of rotation there Pepe Ars being in that middle Ellis oh uh, not Ellis Ilias cutting across. You can see that run from Ilias. I have him on getting to the box. You can see he's in there on the spot. Lovely bit of play. Really good run from Ellis Todd as well. Another assist for him. He's really stepping up this season. This, for me, is a much better season for Ellis Todd. He's already getting way more involved. But Ilias Chair finds the back of the net. His first goal in the season. And we are 1-0 up in the Derby Boys. Things you do, in fact, love to see. Now, we've just got to be patient. We've got to be calm about it. And let's just keep this clean sheet. That's the most important thing from this point now. No goals conceded, boys. Oh, they've won the ball quite high up the pitch here, and they're recycling it around very, very quickly. I think that's Kenny's He's played a through ball. Thankfully, it has just gone off, and we're not too long left on the clock. I'm actually going to make a change here, and I'm going to take off Lyndon Dykes and bring on Charlie Kelman. Now, that might seem like a bit of an odd move. It's purely because I want to try and rest Dykes to have him to maybe play a bit of the Watford game if we need him. So it's not down to like, oh, you know, I want to rest him and play him for the full 90 minutes because I still want him for the Everton game as well. But I might bring him on for maybe half an hour if we need Lyndon Dykes in the cup. So I'm going to bring on Charlie Kelman, fresh legs. It means we've got Macaulay Bon and we've got Obafemi to start for that other game. I'm also going to bring off Chaloba and bring on Dominic Ball. Give him 20 minutes. It means that we've got the option of Chaloba in the next game as well. But also, again, Don Ball has got some good passing and it means that we can just try and just play our way through the second half. Last sort of 20, 30 minutes, well, 20 minutes on the clock and then we're good to go that's the plan here keep the possession keep calm on the ball see this one out boys get the ball up here to Kelman Kelman with a nice little turn gonna play it back to Ilias chair plays it back to Kelman but I have to say Hector stepped in very well Hector has been very very good today he's been one of the toughest players for us to try and take this ball pass because he really has been a solid rock in the back line there but there's not too long left now they're on a bit of a a counter here. Dickel Dover Reed has played it back to Zambo and Guizzo. He's had to play all the way back to Hector. One thing we have done pretty well is keep this pressure up, keep them from really making it like through our team relatively easily. And Hammerline has stepped in really well as their player has uh, sort of stopped to see if he could make something from that attack. But instead, we're going to get that ball. We're going to play it forward here. Another sloppy pass. Hopefully, they don't get time to make another attack. Come on, ref. Look where the ball is. Look where they are. You've got to blow that whistle, ref. You'd have done that if it was the other way around. Thankfully, he has finally blown the whistle. They love giving the AI another minute or so just to see if they can make something. But I have to say, that was a very tough, tough game. If you consider some of the other teams we've played against and beat, I was expecting to do a lot better in this game, just down to the level of the players on FIFA for Fulham. But I have to say, we really did play well, and I do think we deserve the win there. But a very big, big shout out to Fulham because they made that very difficult. They honestly, if you look at the stats, I would say they probably did deserve to get the win there. But we did manage to get that goal. Weren't many highlights because there weren't many chances. They dominated uh, possession. The chances actually weren't too far apart. I honestly thought they had more chances than us. But Ilias Chair pops up with the goal. Things you'd love to see and another three points. Okay, a very important win for us there. We do have the EFL Cup up next. So I think that's the Carabao Cup because I think it does say FA Cup if it is the FA Cup. I forget which one, what they say on them. So regardless, we're going to power on through to the Cup game. Going to play a slightly rotated side and we are going to sim and watch the game through a sim. So we'll get to that in a second. Okay, just want to let you guys know another offer in, another two offers in for Albert Adoma. Probably won't go through, but it's absolutely fine. Uh, and Duncan, they have agreed to a two-year uh, loan deal with the option to buy him at the end of it. So I'm going to accept it. And again, if Duncan does end up getting bought, then fantastic. If not, it's fine. We'll transfer this when he gets back. Unless by some miraculous turn of events, he ends up having a crazy season. 
Okay, so I've got the team set and ready for our simulated game. Only changes from the squad that you would have seen previously is that Brightside comes back in the right, which moves Todd back to the left. Bon and Obafemi are both going to start up top. Dumble comes in as our captain today at CDM. Um, and I've brought on Owens onto the bench because he did ask to play, so I'll probably bring him on at some point. But for now, as I said, we are going to sim this game. We're up against a five at the back in Watford, which... Uh, you come to expect to play five of the backs on career mode in FIFA. So uh, hopefully we can do pretty well here. Let's see how the boys do in the simulated game. Let's have a little look-see and hope that the guys can do well today. Obviously, they're not a bad side, uh, Watford, by any stretch of the imagination at all. So uh, it's still going to be careful, still going to be sensible and make sure that we uh, do try our best here. That's why I didn't want to put out a necessarily weak team because I think Watford is still good enough to give us a very, very good challenge even with our full-strength squad. So wanted to rotate just a little bit just to give us some more fresh options for the uh, league game against Everton because I don't necessarily want a weak side for that either, even though I will be playing that one. But again, as long as I don't have to jump in for too much this game then uh we won't be uh worried about the uh oh hold on a second okay yeah we will we will get to play a third game as long as i don't have to play much or any of this game at all so that's kind of my thought process of this one but just because it's the cup game just because it's not a, a fellow premier league team i thought i'd give it a bit of a, a sim and just see how the boys do and hopefully they can do well i've set some uh, int uh, like instructions up some custom tactics and hopefully they can get the ball rolling today but if i do need to jump in for a big part of the game then obviously uh, we might not get to that third today, but hopefully we do get that opportunity because the boys can play well enough for us to not need to do it. However, I would say so far, it's looking a lot like they're getting a lot of the ball. Uh, if we look at the stats, oh, we've actually had more possession, apparently, which does surprise me a little bit. But they're definitely creating more sort of attacking position, at least anyway. Uh, you can see their possession is now shooting up because they get more, more of the ball. But honestly, I'd like to play it short here, but I don't think we're going to. Nope, we don't, and we play it long, and yet again, we lose the ball. It's not good to see us losing the ball this easily and this quickly, but that's mainly because I think I think we're just kind of rushing that ball around a little bit. We're not really getting the ball on the ground and knocking it about, which is how I've asked us to play um, in some sort of ticky-tacker, you know, quick passing football. But we're not doing it, and we're losing the ball very often. We've been offside, I think, two or three times now already, which isn't ideal for us at all in the slightest. They've played it through quite nicely here. We've got to get this ball off them. Don't let me get the shot away. He's open. Good save there from Ramsdale. I have to say Ramsdale has been a real, real big pickup for us. I'm really glad that we went for him because I do think it was semi-realistic. The fact that obviously Sheffield United went down. He's a good young keeper with good prospect. I mean, if you look at it, he's been with two teams who got relegated back to back according to this career mode. But I think if you look at the uh, the potential that he does potentially have, especially in regards to FIFA, then I think it was a pretty good move for us. I'm pretty happy with it. What on earth is he doing there, though? Oh, you know what, mate? That was composure. But half time. Realistically, we're not doing that great. Who's having a bit of a stinker? Bon is not doing very well at all. Ludwig is struggling. And Bright is having a stinker as well. Okay, so I'm going to keep Bon on for just a little bit longer. I'm going to take off Bright and bring on Ilias Chair. Let's see if Ilias can get a little bit of game time and do well here. What would Owen's rating be? He's on a minus five if I was to bring one as a CDM. Okay, that's not ideal, but that's okay. I'm going to just make Chair as the change for now. <sighs> I mean, we kind of need to keep the option to bring Dykes on open, don't we? Okay, we'll stick with just Chair. We need to keep the option for Dykes as an option still there, but also... We do have Owens that we do kind of semi need to bring on. I know I don't really need to bring him on, but I think it would be nice now that I've kind of semi said that I would uh, look to try and bring him on. But hopefully Ilias can come on and make a bit of a difference for us today. Uh, see if he can hopefully be the man to make uh, a little bit of change and, and try and bring bring a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a little bit of something because Bright had such a stinker. Let's see if he, he can uh, come in and just do... If he does better than Bright, then obviously... He, that won't be overly difficult with how badly Bright played for the, the first 45 according to his rating. But we're getting a bit more possession here. Knocking around a little bit. Let's try and see if we can get a chance. Obafemi tries to pass it. Shot horror. Obafemi gives it away. His passing really is not good. I think I might need to train specifically his passing. Because his passing really has not been very good at all. You can see they're getting quite tired here, uh, Watford. We've got a fair bit more stamina than they do. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually, after this attack... Okay, right. That attack's sort of been semi-cleared. We're going to take off Bon and we're going to bring on Lyndon Dykes. I'm also going to take off Dominic Ball. Oh, it feels so stupid to do. No, I'm going to take off Amos. I know that seems even more stupid, but I'm going to take off Amos. Um, and I'm going to make him a centre mid. Uh, so he's a little bit better uh, position-wise, I guess. Let's see if that cheers him up a little bit. The fact that he's a CM instead of a CDM. I don't know. He's playing on a minus three instead of a minus five. Let's just make those changes. Uh, Dykes is going to get himself half an hour, which should still be plenty of time to sort of rest and recoup. My God, that was a good effort there. To rest and recoup for the uh, the game against Everton. What I'll do, if it goes to penalties, I'll jump in 
and we'll take the penalty. Actually, no, shall we or should we watch it simmed? I think we'll just watch it simmed if it goes to penalties, but hopefully the boys can do well enough to stop that happening. Dykes is coming on immediately getting that ball up the pitch. He's not going to cross it because the AI never crossing these. I think he's just shot there, uh, which is a little bit greedy of you, Dykes, mate. Don't be doing that, Lyndon. If you're going to shoot, make sure you're going to score it, mate. But it's not been good. They're so tired. They've got some really, really tired players here. Uh, they're probably going to make a change. I'd be so surprised. Yeah, Messina has gone off because he was absolutely dead in his legs there. They brought on Yanmat. But now we've still, we've still got the fitness here, boys. We've still got the players who have got the fitness. We've got the stamina here. Let's see if we can really work these boys. Um, man, we're just not... I don't know what we're doing wrong. We're just not doing well in possession. We're not knocking it around well enough. We're losing the ball a lot. Again, looking at the stats, we've apparently had more of the ball and I just don't see it personally. But in these kind of chances, we're rotating the ball nicely and then the final pass lets us down. Obafemi has passed the ball away about three times uh, this second half, which is really not good enough. Charlie Owens apparently is having a decent little game according to that. Hold on a second. Don't let me get the shot away, boys. Lovely tackle there from number three, a.k.a. Carter Vickers. Good lad. Now, we've got the ball out wide here. Can we... Oh, mate, he's had to turn around. Obafemi's had to turn around. But he's made a couple of passes that have actually met the person he's passing it to, which is a big dub for us. Let's get this ball in the middle, boys. Get it in the middle. Charlie Owens passes it across. Come on, Lyndon. Have a go. He's what? He's had to be pushed out wide again. Don't go backwards because the rest going to blow it. Oh, it's gone to penalties. Okay, well, I am going to stick to what I said. We're going to let the boys take their own penalties. I'm not going to play it. We're going to let them take him. If we go out, we go out. It's a stink. Hernandez misses. It's a good save from Ramsdale for the first one. Obafemi's going to step up. And Obafemi scores bottom left. Well done, mate. Good lad. Made up for the, the ones he's missed today or the chances he's wasted a little bit. Depaul to score as well. Makes it 1-1. But we have still got the main penalties here. Go on, Linden. Misses the target. Misses the target. Isaac success steps up. Finds the bottom right. Come on, Ellis, mate. Come on, Ellis. Top corner and he saved it. Top corner and it saved. Dawson. Saved as well. What well on Ramsdale. Dicky, now's your chance. Come on, Dicky. No. Boys. Yanamats, it's got to miss. He's got to save it. He said it's so wide, it's not even on the screen. Charlie Owens. Yes, Charlie. Come on, boys. We carry on. Ludwig, you're our next man. Cabasay is going to step up. Cabasay hits the bar. Come on, Ludwig. The new signing. Right name into the history books. He does. Boys, we go through. 3-2 on penalties. We didn't have to jump in. I'm absolutely chuffed. You know what? I'm actually really happy for Charlie Owens because he specifically asked to play. I wasn't going to play him, but Charlie Owens steps up and Ludwig as well. Well done to those lads. Well done to all the penalty takers. All the ones that scored. Mate, Yanma had an absolute stinker. It wasn't even on the screen. That's how bad it was. But we go through and we get to play an extra game today. Things you love to see. Okay, after the cut madness that was the uh, game against Watford, we're going to jump into our third game, which doesn't happen very often in the career mode, but we're up against Everton. They've got a very good team. Uh, I don't remember where they are in the league. I think they're like mid-table-ish. But again, we've got pretty much our main team out uh, with fitness, so we're, we're all good here. Carter Vickers and Dickey, one of them might need to be substituted off for Marston, which is absolutely fine. Again, he's been getting game time, so he's in form. He's got the sharpness. We're all good. Obafemi, I'm going to give him another chance. If he has another bad game today... Then we're probably going to rotate him for a little bit with Macaulay, Bono, Kelman and give one of them a chance because Obafemi hasn't really been hitting the heights. He scored the penalty in the Watford game, which is great. Other than that, he's not been fantastic. They made some good sign of look things as well here. They've got Ben Rama and Abraham. Good attackers, but can we come out on top today? Let's hope so. Okay, here we go at the Kyan Prince Foundation Stadium today. Hopefully... We get ourselves the three points in the league again. This would be a really big episode. This would arguably be our best episode if we pick up three wins. Because, obviously, we don't normally play three games. So, that would be a massive pull for us today. That would be insane. But Everton are not an easy team to come up against. They've got some good signings in there as well. Ben Rama, Abraham, really good players. Obviously, already got a good squad as well. Oh, it's, it's a blooming bright day with that, that sort of weird, annoying sun on half the pitch. And then the other in darkness. So, let's hope that we can get ourselves three points today. And let's hope the sun... Doesn't put us off too much. I'm having to look at the shorts because the tops look so similar in the light. They've worked the ball really nice ball over the top there. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was offside. That's why I didn't start commentating straight away. But they've worked it on to the winger there. Oh, he steps inside of three people. Oh, mate. Ramsdale seems to be, I'm saying, every game. What a man Ramsdale has been for us. Lovely save at that close post. Really good save from the main man himself. Let's see if we can get this ball out there. It's aimed at Abraham. Good flick on there. I think that was Carter Vickers who got involved. Hammerliner might have been the man to get the, the flick on it though. But let's see if we can keep them out here. Come on. Dykes is back there trying to defend. Amos is trying to get that ball. They played it around quite nicely here. Rob Dickey steps in. Good little block there from Rob Dickey. Carter Vickers picks it up. And now we get the ball away. Come on boys. Let's get our foot on it for a little bit. 
Right, come on then. Let's see if we can stop this ball from going back into the box. They've worked it inside. Oh, that's not good. The man is left on his own. Ramsdale with another fantastic save, but he can't get the rebound. I've tried to get him there. It's really frustrating the way sometimes your defenders are locked onto the wrong person. I wanted to be with the first man who was there, but instead it's giving me Dickie, who's nowhere near it. If it had given me Kane, I think I might have been able to close him down. But Ramsdale made a really good save. But sadly, I think that's Chaloba. Does not stay with the man. And Wendell gets himself a, a goal here. And that's not a good place for us to be, because I have to say, Everton have been the better side just like in the Fulham game, Everton have been the better side here, have dominated us off the ball, we haven't had much possession, uh, and therefore we haven't really created anything, if I'm being honest with you, so not a good start for us to go 1-0 down, especially in a game that we're really not that involved in at the moment. Dyke's going to look up and find Obafemi, Obafemi, lovely turn, he's turned the defender, come on Obafemi mate, keep that ball, play it on your left, oh he's hit the post, oh I thought he found the bottom corner there, that really would have been a smash and grab there, because that really has been against the run of play, and was just after the kickoff. but mate, I'm so gutted he's hit the post here. That would have been great for Obafemi and fantastic for us. And that ball has stayed on. What on earth is going on there? Rodriguez kind of jogging backwards, but then does eventually get there. But Hamelainen steps in really nicely and wins that ball off him. I can barely tell on my screen. On the recording, it doesn't look as bad. But on my screen, it is pretty difficult to tell who's who when it's in that light. Well, it's going to be half time. Not been a particularly good half. Really gutted that Obafemi didn't find the back of the net there. I think, honestly... He could be our way into this game. He has been the man to get the space to try and make these chances. If Dykes had played a slightly better pass for his first chance, I think he'd have been through and scored. And for that second one, I think that's just a little bit unlucky that he's hit the post there. Carter Vickers is very tired, so I'm actually going to take him off for Marston. Just fresh legs at the back. But other than that, I'm going to keep the team the same. Ideally here, this is our strongest team. So bringing anyone on and off is not going to be fantastic for us. It's not going to be the way forward. So we're going to have to try and stick it out with this team. Uh, obviously, Conor Marston coming on for the sake of fitness for Carter Vickers but other than that we've just got to go for it boys we've got to try and get this goal we've got to get back into it relatively quickly so we can still push that three points Lyndon Dykes plays the ball to Obafemi Obafemi's going to try and power through has to play off to Bright and that's a really good pass and Bright has done really well to run onto that Bright so is going to have to power it across that far post finds the back of the net get that ball Bright let's get into this game let's get these three points he won't get the ball let's skip the celebration then ah oh, skip the goal as well but that's a really good counter attack I have to say Obafemi there does fantastically well to get that ball off to Bright and Bright's done really well to pick that up because Obafemi was beat he was tackled but sticks his foot and gets that little slide in and just plays it off to Bright so Samuel lovely stuff there and gives us a really good chance now with 20 plus minutes on the clock to try and get ourselves into the lead now. Maybe we have a bit of a chance to do it nice and quickly here. Obafemi's going to turn. Keep that ball. Play it off to Ellis Todd. Plays it into Lyndon Dykes. Lovely first touch. The pass to Bright yet again letting us down. Our strikers today have not been able to pass. It's been a real issue. The passing is letting us down time and time again and it's not good enough but Rob Dickey with a fantastic step in there. Well done mate. Everton making a change here. Ben Rama going off for a Wobi. We're also making a change. Ellis Todd is going to go off for Ilias Chair. Ilias has done really well for us today. And I think it makes sense to give him a bit of a run out. Ellis uh, Todd has, has also been very good in this game. It's not that he's been bad. But I just think fresh legs in the attacking position is kind of our best chance to try and get something right now. Instead of bringing on Bond. Because I, oh, I think Obafemi, again, as I said, has played well in this game. And I think could be our chance to try and get another goal here. But now we've got Ilias Chair. The fresh legs of Ilias. Just going to absolutely blitz away from Decore. Decore is going to get close to him. But Ilias Chair... It's going to get into a good enough position. Can he sweat it across? Obafemi's dancing on the spot. It's a really bad pass. That is not good enough. Not a good enough pass at all. And that could have been our chance for a second there. And I've wasted it. Lyndon Dykes has turned the defender really well. And now we have a chance to bring this ball forward here. It's going to keep going. We see bright side Samuel trying to cut on the inside. Obafemi play it to his feet. No, that's such a bad pass. How many times are bad passes going to mess us up in this career mode today? Or just career mode full stop. But today especially has not been good enough. Surely that's the... Oh, okay. He's going to blow it shortly after this ball's gone. Oh, my God. That was a bit risky there. We're going to get rid of it there. Ah, oh, man. That's honestly... That feels like two points dropped. Obviously, we were behind... Obviously, Everton played really well, especially for that first 45, but that feels like two points dropped, I have to say. We, we played well enough, I think, in the end to get that second goal. Two or three chances that just went missing, and uh, it, it's really disappointing to not have picked up all three points there because, again, it feels like one that we should have won, but it wasn't to be, boys. We get ourselves the draw. Again, they had more shots, but they were off target, but uh, it's just a frustrating way to draw. Well, that point does see us up into fifth place for now. Man City and uh, Wolves both still to play, so we could potentially drop down as far as seventh. 
But I have to say, Brighter Sir Samu yet again coming up clutch and yet again being a big, big player for us in that. I'm just going to have a little look at our monthly squad. Uh, again, Albert Adoma is still not getting through. We still have the one youngster there. It's still Matubi, still 15. We can't call him up yet. But he's, again, potential to 81 to 87. Not too bad. We'll probably get him loaned out as and when he is 16. We'll call him up and loan him out. But that is going to be the end of today's episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, then please do leave a like on the video. It really supports me, the video, the series, the channel out. Thank you so much, everyone does. Of course, if you're new to the channel as well, a sub goes a long, long way. And make sure you turn on notifications and uh, you'll be told anytime that we upload a video or indeed go live with a live stream for now guys i want to say a massive thank you for watching i've been tom you guys have been awesome and i'll see you soon look after yourselves and of course wash your hands what in a bit nah, his name is hursty slap bald head yeah it'll probably hurt me bang top bins yeah, it'll probably hurt you ginger streamer platform youtube drop a name in the chat or say hello entertain yeah, you already know capital h yeah i'm a read it slow hursty games yeah you already know hursty games